Hello everyone. Today we shall be discussing on how to calculate average velocity of a body traveling front and back. Once again, how to calculate an average velocity of a body traveling back and forth. Now, a body moves along a straight line from a fixed point zero so that it goes forward a distance of 10 meter at a speed of 5 meter per second and then backward a distance of 8 meter at a speed of 2 meter per second. Calculate the average velocity of a body for the whole journey in meter per second. Once again, a body moves a lot along a straight line from a fixed point O so that it goes forward a distance of 10 meter at a speed of 5 meter per second and then backward a distance of 8 meter at a, dis at a speed of 2 meter per second. Calculate the average velocity of the body for the whole journey in meter per second. Now, we know that our first journey was 10 meter, 10 meter, 10 meter at 5 meter per second, which is represented here from zero, from A to B. Then our, the body returned back, what? 8 meter with velocity of 5 meter per second with speed of 5 meter per second. So for us to calculate the average velocity we will use the formula saying that average velocity equals displacement over total time of a journey. That is Average velocity equals displacement over total time of a given journey. For us to find displacement and total time, then we deduce that average velocity equals the given displacement from zero to B, then to C which equals zero to C displacement, zero to C displacement over total time. So how do we calculate our displacement, which is zero to C? First of all, we need to calculate the total time. To for us to calculate the total time, our first time, of first journey time, which equals the distance over the velocity, which equals 10, over 5 me meter per second, which equals 2 seconds. Our second journey backward, which equals distance over velocity, which equals 8 over 2, which gives us 4 seconds. So therefore, the time taking for first journey equals 2 seconds, and the time taking for second journey backward equals 4 seconds. So therefore, the total time taken for all journey equals 2 plus 4 seconds. It give us 6 seconds. Now, for us to calculate average velocity, which equals the displacement from 0 to the final C, which equals 10 meter minus 8 meter will give us 2 over the total time taken for the whole journey will give us 6 then our average velocity equals 0 0.3 seconds uh, meter per seconds will give us 0 0.3 meter per seconds this problem is 
sometimes confusing, but we need to be very conscious whenever we are asked to calculate average velocity, which is not like average speed or average acceleration. Now, we need to know that average velocity is always calculated with displacement all over total time. Once again, average velocity is calculated by displacement all over total time, which gives us 0.3 meter per seconds. Thank you.